I was once a camper myself. But it wasn't anything like this. Cheap creep. Alright, another fun action packed day. A little bit warmer today. What is it, the uh, 15th, uh, I think, of December? And it's like almost 50 degrees, 47, I think, is the temperature. So that's cool. Let's get some stuff done. Um, it is getting a little bit rainy, so I've had to cover some of the stuff up with a tarp. But uh, so what do we got today? Uh, we got the four poles that are standing. Uh, I'm going to need to measure um, and start cutting out my three-quarter inch 4x8 um, ply board that I'm using. Uh, for my hard side conversion. So let's get a tape measure and get that started. All right, first board is um, about 87 and 1 8. Get you in the action. So what I did here is I uh, put down chalk lines for the center of the 2x4 so I know where to put my screws. I wish this had a strap. I need to get one because it's kind of a pain to hold drill and hold the wood. Looking sharp. I don't know if I get that door to close. Nope. Yep. Good. Just a little bit off. Uh, so I gotta kind of pop it to get it in. But I'm kind of glad that opens and closes so I can get in and out. Because we're gonna seal off the back. And then, uh, you know, that's the only way in. All right. Let's get the wood cut. Pop it on. Be close.
Well, that is about as tight as it's going to get. drill this in, but I need to uh, get something line up so I can brace it square. I think that's what we'll do. Get some angle iron on the corners and then bolt it down from the uh, the outside and that'll also help wind and ceiling and all that good stuff of my own actually because when I measured this thing this trailer is not perfectly square it's off by uh, three quarters of an inch I think on its dimensions now that could have been because of wear or honestly it could have been factory like that I don't know but that's why I have that little issue right there but that angle iron all I gotta do is find something real wide so I'll probably find some three by three angle iron Cover this all up. Bob's your uncle. We's in business. All right. I may look like I'm cold. It's actually over 55 degrees out. Um, yeah, so I'm going to paint this really quick. You want it opened up to absorb this stuff, but this will protect it at least until it warms up. Looking good, looking good. Let's get this wrapped up. Let's work on the edges now. Show you what I got. Boom, check it out. Okay, so we are using aluminum and it is, uh, let me read this easily. It's one eighth thick and it's one and a half inches wide and it's four foot. So it'll fit on each of our corners. Why aluminum? Well, it's lightweight and it doesn't rust and it's stronger than hell. So, if you're gonna do aluminum, what about your hardware? You don't want your bolts rusting, do you? Oh yeah, baby. Stainless, got all stainless hardware. Uh, lock nuts, stainless, and uh, a ton of washers for the inside. So, let's get at it. Screws all non-uniform. Good. 
let's use this one to mark the other ones. For instance, look, I usually do that. Kind of saves your butt sometimes. So, two holes. Okay, let's put this on the camper. All right, how dry is the paint? Eh, dry to the touch, neato. So, we're gonna pop in some holes, some starter holes, and have ourselves one nice edge. Tell you what, and Wash up my hand real good. And bam, holds that girl right in place. Welcome to the beautiful north. So, today on Jeep Creep, yeah, we're working in snow. Because come rain or shine, Jeep Creep's on all the time. All right, so uh, now we have a little bit of a conundrum. Um, we rebuilt the roof, we tired it, we boarded it, it's heavy now. And now we gotta get it up way high. This is not the actual height. I need to trim those down. But before I do that, I need to measure this guy. So how do we get that up on there by ourselves and it's heavy? Well, I'll tell you what you do. First, you get your car in position, get your winch line set up, get a ladder, find a tall branch, set yourself up a snatch block, run your cable, to your car, uh, I got a, a winching cable line. Put a couple boards on that, raise it, back the trailer back up under it. Wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. We just capped a trailer. All right, here's my ghetto rig. I'm starting to reel out some line. Let's get up tripod set up so you can watch me uh, totally rock this. Or totally kill myself. Looking uh, professional so far. Carefully move this without killing my tail. I feel like I need a drum roll. This is going to be fun. All right. <laughs> All right. Let's get the wrenching.
Square and a better pencil. Try to move it my hand a little bit. Oh, bad. You know what? If we use a board, she'll roll. Double wench it. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, where there's a will, there's a wench. So you can see my idiocracy here. What do we got going? Well, kids, we got a wench on top that's supporting the height, and then I'm gonna put a wench on the bottom that's gonna help me drag the sucker into place because uh, I don't have anything else to pull with. So that's what we're gonna do. And uh, say a little prayer. If you can tell me how many things are wrong with this picture, you win a prize. Okay, so uh, what we're gonna do here, got a piece of wood down, like so. I'm gonna get my jack under that thing and whoop, whoop, move it over.
All right, so I push the front over. Let me show you what we're dealing with here so you can understand what I'm doing. See how close that tree is? Yeah, I need a slider right under that. So, my winching vehicle is off on angle. Um, every time I winch that black line, it's pulling it more towards the tree. I just need it more straight out. So I think what I'm gonna do is uh, set another snatch block on that. Um, let me go get one. Actually, you know what? I don't even need to get that fancy. I can uh, tie it off to my other car. Yes, folks, with enough winches and rigs, you can do all sorts of stupid stuff. I want that to fall in. Make sure you can see what I'm looking at. Yeah, you can see. All right. Need to guide that a little bit. I could not be happier with those results. I mean, it's pretty dang line. It's not perfect. I mean, there's air gaps, but uh, holy smokes, this is going long. I'm liking it. All right, well, the fun part, detaching all the hardware on the top. Oh boy. That's all she wrote for the, right now, probably today. I'm beat. I'm cold and wet. But camper gonna stay dry. After I finish cleaning up on the inside, of course, because full snow. So stay tuned. We're gonna do some more fun work and it'll be easier to work on because we'll be indoors now. We got a roof. All right, next time.